Home flight simulator cockpits have been around for a long time now, but they haven't really been a must buy for the flight simulator enthusiast until now. With the introduction of Microsoft Flight Simulator and other simulators in recent times, and a lot of people coming across to the flight simulator platform, we are now seeing improvement when it comes to manufacturing and development of home flight simulator cockpits. Next Level Racing recently released their next generation of home flight simulator cockpits in partnership with Boeing themselves. In this video, we're gonna take a look at their next generation cockpits in detail and see what all the fuss is about when it comes to home flight simulator cockpits and the new generation. Before we get into the nuts and bolts of this video, if you find value out of the video, please hit that subscribe button as it really helps support me and it keeps the channel from growing and growing. And a little quick disclaimer, Next Level Racing did provide this Boeing copy to me. But with that being said, all my opinions of the video and findings are from a, a enthusiast of flight simulation and then my personal findings. So they're not biased just because these guys sent me uh, the Boeing cockpit. Even though I'm grateful that they've done it, it gives me a chance to showcase uh, to you guys in a detail what this has to offer. Next Level Racing founded in 2009 and is a leading simulation brand with its resolutionizing simulation product range. The team focuses on innovation and quality to meet demanding needs of the sim racers, flight simmers and gamers alike. Their products are stocked through major retailers worldwide and some of their commercial customers include NASA, Mercedes-Benz, PlayStation, Northern Grubman, just to mention a few, and in some of their recent products the Next Level Racing team have partnered with big companies such as Boeing. Recently, a Next Level Racing released their next generation flight simulator cockpits. These cockpits have been designed specifically for the aviation community in collaboration with Boeing. Today, we're going to take a look at the commercial Boeing cockpit, but their range includes military and general flight simulation additions. These flight simulator cockpits are designed for flight simulation, and they work with many different flight simulator hardware. In this video, we aim to showcase as many different hardware types working with this cockpit, including a Thrustmaster, Honeycomb, Turtle Beach, and more, over as many different cockpit configurations as possible. The Boeing cockpit itself comes with the Flight Simulator Boeing Commercial Edition frame, a dedicated Boeing-inspired flight seat, seat sliders, four-point harness, lumbar cushion, custom mouse and keyboard stand with pads, butt kicker adapter mount, and a bunch of extra hardware mounts to suit most of the flight simulator controls, and all the tools and instructions that are required for the build. I will leave the specifications on the screen, but as you can see from the size, it's a true flight sim cockpit. At first, when opening up the box, I was a little bit overwhelmed as there seemed to be a many parts to assemble and when taking a look at the tools provided, I thought this was going to be a very time consuming and complicated build. Although my thoughts were very short lived as next level racing included a bunch of extra nuts, bolts and accessories from different configurations that you may need and weren't necessarily required for the build. We weren't going to need all these after all for this build and the instructions were very detailed and easy to follow. The build itself took me about four hours, but with these types of builds, I like to take my time and really focus on taking a look at the product as we go along. You could correctly build this yourself within about two or three hours. The construction was very intuitive and it would be easy for anyone to build. I would recommend building the cockpit in an environment where you have a bit of space though. It is very easy to see the level of quality that Next Level Racing places on their cockpits and in my opinion the construction and the materials and parts used in the cockpit are excellent and the Boeing cockpit is made to last for a very long time. For this Boeing setup, I will use the Thrustmaster TPRs, which can be mounted directly to the rudder pedal mount. The pedals can be adjusted forwards and backwards, and the mounting plate can be angled. That being said, this rudder pedal mount is very versatile, and you can mount any sort of rudder pedals to it. The main yoke configuration we are using is the Honeycomb Alpha and the Honeycomb Bravo throttle. 
The yoke mount can be adjusted to move up and down with the yoke stand as well as angled backwards and forwards. I chose to add the extra stability mount as I'm not planning on changing the cockpit configuration too much with my general use. This mount is also included in the kit and it's not extra. The Bravo throttles are mounted to the Boeing style stands which can be adjusted to any height and angle to whatever suits your needs. The cockpit comes with a mouse and a keyboard stand which you can see I've taken a full advantage of. The seat which is featured in the Boeing edition is a Boeing style type of seat which is a nice touch to complete with the theme. I found that this seat to be comfortable with short holes and long holes and again like a car seat it can be easily adjusted backwards and forwards and even during the cruise you can recline the seat all the way back to your desired position. The next level of simulator cockpits can be configured with many different type of cockpit flight control options. The main setup we are using today which we mentioned before is the Honeycomb Boeing setup. However you can configure using many other flight controls. Being this is a themed Boeing style cockpit the Thrustmaster Boeing yoke is a great option. This cockpit does come with a mount to mount that on there and also it takes other types of yokes included but we don't have access to this yoke personally um, but we did try a bunch of others. So the first one we tried was the Turtle Beach Velocity One Yoke and Throttle. An extra mount is provided in the kit for this Turtle Beach option. The next control options we tried was the Virtual Fly Yoko the Yoke, the TQ6 and the V3 Vernio throttles. These are the controls that I use most of the time on a desk so it was interesting to see how they'd work with this cockpit. The Virtual Fly products will mount directly to the plates however if you want to use their desk clamps that are provided with those controls you will need to use a bit of a wood Wood block on the plates underneath as I found that the plates were too thin to work with the desk mounts but they will mount directly into it using screws. The next configuration of controls we used was the Frostmaster Airbus TCA Captain's Pack. Even though this is a Boeing themed style cockpit these work great. This is another option where you can mount to the side, mounts with the side stick and also the throttles and you can angle and change the height and adjust the mounts to the way that your preferences are using these types of controls. Moving away from traditional yoke setups, these next level of racing flight simulator cockpits can be set up using a middle stick option for warbirds or fighter configurations. This configuration would work with many joystick options for testing we only had access to a TCA size stick which you can see here but this would work great with other products such as the Thrustmaster Warthog. Next Level provides all the most common bolts that are required to mount your flight controls to their cockpit and you'll find these all in the toolkit that was provided with the build. As you can see we tried many types of cockpit configuration but when it comes to controls for this flight simulator cockpit there's only a few there but there's a bunch out there on the market but I wouldn't be surprised that you couldn't find anything that wouldn't really work when it comes to the next level racing at Boeing cockpits. The next level of racing flight simulator cockpits are compatible with a bunch of their other products in their next level lineup. Floor mats, freestanding keyboards and mouse stands and many different monitor stand options. Although these types of flight simulator cockpits pits could be pushed into a desk position they are very heavy and I can't see anybody doing that for a long term or permanent basis. In summary, I find that the next level racing the flight simulator copy is a very versatile for all sorts of different types of flight simulating preferences. It's easy to see that the team has really taken in the flight simulations enthusiast mind into account as we have a lot of different types of flight simulations from uh, airliners right to GAA to jet flying. They've taken that all in consideration. It's a very uh, versatile cockpit. The cockpit construction is well constructed and used from high end materials as far as I can see. I was a little bit concerned and I thought that the yoke stand might be might wobble around a little bit um, with different types of um, yokes but what I found it with that is it didn't really wobble around at all so long as you put everything together and you use the stability mounts and things like that it wasn't a problem at all and soon those forts were basically put away and wasn't a problem whatsoever. There's many adjustment points on the flight simulator cockpit itself when it comes to the rudder pedals, the side mounts, uh, the, the seat and the yoke and also the joystick. So it will really fit any type of pilot size and it, it's quite comfortable. The Boeing seat itself which is adjustable and also the quick release so you can hop in and out there's no problem there whatsoever and I found on like, long sessions um, the, the seat was actually quite comfortable. Um, a lot of other simulators come with bucket seats. This one's not really a type of bucket seat and it was it was great for long haul flying. 
This was particularly a Boeing theme cockpit with uh, the seat of the top of Boeing theme. It had the Boeing logo and the, the little bits of blue detail that come with it, which was really, really great to see. But the, if you're not a Boeing fan or an airliner fan, they do have other cockpits, as we mentioned at the top of the video, when it comes to the next level racing, the red one, and also they have the fighter jet theme. So it sort of suits for all types, but it's great that they have other ones available. This particular cockpit, in my opinion, is not very portable. It's actually quite heavy, which makes it sturdy. After we constructed it, I needed myself and someone else just to move it into position to where I was going to use it. So it really deserves its own place in the house where you're gonna do your flight simulation. So if you're looking for something portable, yes, you could move it over to um, where your desk is, but it would be just a pain. It really deserves to be in one spot. So all in all, if you are looking for a home flight simulator cockpit, I would recommend considering the next level racing uh, flight simulator uh, cockpits, go and actually check them out. It's one to consider of a whole range of different cockpits out on the market. And it's really great to see that the manufacturing and the development is improving. And we have um, manufacturers and companies out there improving on their product after all these years. I'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can check out uh, their website. And and stick around for more flight simulation hardware videos. If you like this one, I'll leave another one here and be sure to be subscribed for more flight simulator videos.